We start a new chapter, triangles. Triangle is a closed figure. If there are three different non-collinear points, three different non-collinear points, three different non-collinear points are always coplanar. And if you join them by line segments, what you get is a closed figure called triangle. Triangle is a union set of all points joining three different non-collinear points.
These are the conclusions from the style property of the time mesh. In the other way, for an equilateral triangle, if the sides are equal in length, all of its length angles will also be equal in measure. We know that all the angles of the triangle are equal to 180. So, any one angle of the equilateral triangle will have one third, that is 60 degree of a measure. So, all equilateral triangles will have all three angles equal, each having 60 degree measure. Isosceles triangles will have two angles equal in measure, and in case of scaling triangle, as three sides are all of different lengths, three angles will all be of different measures. Moreover, in case of scaling triangles, the angle opposite to the largest side will be the largest. Angle opposite to the smallest side will be smallest. That is the conclusion or relation between the sides and angles. The angle opposite to the largest side will be largest, and angle opposite to the smallest side will be the angle with smallest measure. Now, from angle point of view, we can classify triangles in three types right angle triangle, acute angle triangle, and obtuse angle triangle. We know that triangle is a figure of three angles close people. It has three vertices and three sides. It has an interior and exterior. Now, if any one angle of the right triangle is of 90 degrees, that is right angle, the triangle itself is called right triangle, right angled triangle. We can call it right angled triangle or simply right triangle. In a right triangle, there will always be one angle of 90 degrees. One angle of 90 degrees. Now we know that sum of all the angles of the triangle adds up to 180. So the sum of the two angles, remaining angles, will be 90. So each one will be less than 90. So any two angles remaining for the right angle will always be acute angle. One angle, right. Now, if all three angles are acute angle, we call the triangle, the type of the triangle is acute angled triangle. All three angles of a triangle, if there are three angles all having measures less than 90 degrees, then the triangle is termed as acute angled triangle. And if there is one angle, obtuse angle, then the triangle is said to be obtuse angle triangle. One angle is more than 90 degrees. The remaining two angles are certainly acute angle. So, obtuse angle triangle will have one angle, at least one, only one, one angle has an obtuse angle, right angle triangle will have one angle of 90 degrees, and acute angle triangle will have always all the angles of acute triangle. Now, can a right triangle be an equilateral triangle? No, because one angle is 90 degrees. And in any equilateral triangle, all angles are of 60 degrees. So it cannot be an equilateral triangle. Any right triangle 
cannot be any critical factor. Any critical factor cannot be a right factor. Vice versa, the statement is true. Now, can a right angled triangle be an isosceles triangle? Yes, it can be. When the other two angles are of equal measure, that is the remaining 90 means 45 each. The two sides opposite to these angles will be of same length, thereby making this right triangle as an isosceles triangle of triangle also. So, a right triangle can become an isosceles triangle provided its sides making right angle are of equal length or the other two angles are of equal measure. Can a right triangle be a scalar triangle? Yes, it can be. A right triangle can be a scalar triangle with all three sides different. Now about acute angle triangle. <coughs> Can an acute angle triangle become equilateral triangle? Yes. If all angles of acute angle triangle are 60 each, 60 degree angle is an acute angle. So if all angles of acute angle triangle are each of 60 degrees, it will be an equilateral type of angle. Triangle. Now, can an acute angle triangle be an a triangle of scalar type? Yes, it can. It can be. Because all the angles may be of different lengths, each one, even though it is acute, can have different lengths and different measures. Therefore, an acute angle triangle can become a scalar triangle also. But all acute angle triangles would not be scalar triangles. Equitable triangles with its angles of different sizes will be of scalar type. Equitable triangle with two of its angles equal will be of isosceles triangle. Equitable triangle with all its angles of measure 60 degrees will be of equilateral triangle. So then the possibility of an equilateral acute angle triangle to become an equilateral, to be an isosceles or to become a scaling triangle. These are the possibilities of the type of acute angle triangles that of various types it can be. Now obtuse angle triangle. Can obtuse angle triangle be of equilateral triangle? Never. Because in any obtuse angle triangle, one angle is obtuse, the other two angles will be acute. So the side opposite to the obtuse angle will be the largest, and in equilateral triangle, all sides are equal. Therefore, obtuse angle triangle can never be equilateral triangle. On the other hand, can obtuse angle triangle become an isosceles triangle? Yes. If the measures of acute angles of the obtuse angle triangle, the remaining angles are same. Though this one angle is obtuse, not problem. But if the remaining two are same in measure, then 
these two sides will also be same in measure. That's why we think of the centroidal triangle as an isosceles triangle too. Can an octosecal triangle become a skeletal triangle? Yes. An octosecal triangle can have all the angles of different measures. Then by getting all the sides of different flanks, we can the type of the triangle is scaling triangle. So, up to second triangle cannot be equilateral. Up to second triangle can be assessed. Up to second triangle can be scaling triangle. So, dear students, these are the various types of triangles. Now, we shall study the one we will see in the next module. Thank you.